everyone welcome back to our channel in the 25 days of Christmas challenge a couple of days ago I filmed a this or that video about several different Christmas or festive preferences uh, one of those questions was about hot chocolate and eggnog I wonder if you can do eggnog in your hot cocoa if that sounds gross I'm sorry I don't know how this works <laughs> after the video I went online to see if an eggnog hot chocolate or a hot chocolate eggnog actually existed and yeah it does it was really hard to find one that had a good number of reviews and I was also looking for something that didn't have alcohol in it because I don't drink alcohol I finally found a recipe on a website called tornadoalley.com so I am going to attempt to make it and see if I like it. I've got the recipe pulled up in front of me. One cup of eggnog, one cup of whole milk, two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, two tablespoons only, we're not using this whole entire container here, <laughs> of the granulated sugar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of salt, whipped cream for topping. So the first instruction is to add all of the ingredients to a small saucepan and whisk together until combined. So that is what we're going to do. Now I can't go into this blindly. I need to at the very least taste eggnog in its raw form. Oh, it sounds so thick. Okay. Oh, I probably should have done a little less, but I mean, we're, we're here. Uh-huh, it's thick. It's different. <laughs> I'm very happy that I made a small amount of this eggnog hot chocolate because if I don't like it, then I don't have to do this ever again. <laughs> Here is the final product. You can't really see the whipped cream, but it's in there, I promise. I'm not gonna tip it over and drop it on my foot. So I got this cup from Dollar Tree a couple of years back. It is huge. Do y'all mix your whipped cream into your hot chocolate or do you just use it as a buffer so you can sip and have like coolness against the heat because I do both I shouldn't have put the whipped cream in it I wanted to taste it unadulterated I'm moving it out of the way okay so it's not bad I think it's I think eggnog is an acquired taste if I'm being honest I'm I don't drink it a whole lot and so it it almost tastes like a hot chocolate that's off for some reason but that reason in this case is the eggnog unfortunately there are no ratings on this recipe but the reason that I chose it was because there are pictures and the pictures walk you through step by step how you're supposed to put it together I followed all of the instructions the right way is it strange? Yes. Why? Because of eggnog. Is it bad? No. I don't think that it's Tornado Alley's fault. I think that there are just some ingredients that should be kept separate for their exclusive purposes or their exclusive preferences. Maybe that's the reason why I've never heard of anybody combining eggnog and hot chocolate before. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. So um, I have learned that I don't like this. <laughs> if you're someone who has found an eggnog hot chocolate or a hot chocolate eggnog recipe that you find really delicious and it's something that you do as part of your holiday traditions, feel free to drop that down below in the comments because I'm willing to give it a try. I've got some leftover eggnog in my fridge and I've got to do something with it. I'll see you in another video tomorrow. But as we always say on our channel, remember that with God, nothing is impossible and I will see you tomorrow. Bad Krista. Very, very bad Krista.